Hello, everyone. In summer of 2012, I was sitting in the examination room, just as those students in the picture who attended the National College Entrance Examination, also called Gaokao. That day was a very important day for my family. My parents stood outside of school gate and waited for me to finish the exam. They were putting their hopes on me. They hoped I can enter a great university. They hoped I can find a great job. In China, Gaokao is widely considered to be the most important exam, which can make or break young person's future. That's why many Chinese students, they are studying so hard to attend the Gaokao. According to the research, with 9.4 million of Chinese students taking annual national college entrance examination, but only 3.7 million of those students will eventually enroll undergraduate examinations, which means they will have a chance getting to the university. The bridge to university lead a narrow path for more. In fact, Gaokao is emblematic of Chinese education system as a whole. Under this exam-oriented system, the crime method of teaching has provided in school, but the crime method of teaching is criticized and accused continuously. Some people argue that the crime method of teaching has only improved students' ability to memorize texts characters and concepts, make few demands in terms of critical thinking. At the same time, both students and the teacher, they are under through the tremendous pressure in preparing for exam. So what's the pressure come from? The pressure come from social attention, come from school, and come from parents. This intense pressure, which influences students' physical and mental health. But not everyone sees the crime method of teaching as harmful. In some respects, China's educational achievements are to be avid. According to the research, the literacy rates in China have increased from around 65% in 1982 to over 96% in 2015. In addition, the PISA 2015 shows that mathematic performance for pupils in China came out as top 10 in the world, and we are hand of children in major Western economies, such as United States and the United Kingdom. So, as an educator, we should pay more attention to the teenager overall human development, which is only possible when the key premise of performing is opening up the education system. At the same time, the Ministry of Education is fully aware of this and has pursued reforms for many years. The recent reform include school use new criteria to evaluate students. This measure is aimed at the exam-oriented system. However, China still has a long way to go before its educational reform reaches satisfactory levels. But I believe that only we abandon the traditional paradigm that periodized education, then our education system will change its unfavorable condition and thrive in the future. Thank you.